Welcome to part two on how to take a photo like this and change the background and do a few things to it, change it from that to this. And when we left off, we were here. It's time to add the lines. The easiest way to do it is to make each line its own layer. And when we move them around, we don't want to be grabbing on these things and moving them around. So for right now, we're just going to click on the eye and shut all these layers off. We're going to come over here, make sure the foreground color is black. If it's not, you just click on it and choose the color. And then come over to here where it says create new layer and click it. We're going to make the thin lines first. We need eight thin lines. Name it NL1 for narrow line. The width is okay. We're going to change the height to 10. I'm going to change the layer fill type to foreground color. And click OK. Alright, now it's right there. I have the move tool selected, so I'm going to move it over that line until it um, changes. I'm going to grab it and drag it down. And now I'm going to make seven more copies. So I'm going to come over here and choose the dupli duplicate, duplicate layer button and click it seven times. Okay, now over here, I have the original and six copies. Oop, I need one more. Okay, now we're going to come over here and choose the alignment tool. Click it. Draw a box around the lines that you just made. Click this drop down box and choose image. Come down here, put the offset at 400. And under the, down here are these lower buttons under, under where it says distribute. Click the up arrow. Now we need to make three thick lines. So we go back over here, choose the new layer tool, click it, change the name to TL1, and the width. We want these to be a little shorter because we're going to put numbers at the end. So you're going to have to figure out what length you need, but for my particular use here, I need 3,850. And the height is 50. Make sure a foreground color is selected. Come down here and click OK. Okay. Now I'm going to choose the Move tool. I'm going to move this one right, right about here, just under the top line. And then I'm going to come over here and make two more copies. Okay, the last copy we made is selected. So I'm going to come over here, grab it. Go down three thin lines and drop it. Then come over here and choose the other thick line copy. And then grab it and go down one, two, three lines and drop it. I made a mistake. I have one extra thin line. That's not a big deal. Let's just go over here. Scroll down, 
choose the proper layer and hit delete all right now make sure alignment tools selected draw a box around the whole deal so everything selected make sure relative to image is still selected and click on align right edge of target button everything's over on the right like it should be now the next thing we want to do is line this line up on his head so we're going to turn the head layer on and he was 20 and a quarter inches um, long when he was born so we're going to choose the right layer which is here we go choose that layer and it's actually not bad I don't I really don't have to move it so we're going to leave that I'm going to choose the alignment tool again and then we're going to whoop I didn't shut the head off and it shows the head layer that's why we shut them all off so I shut the head layer off click a blank area click on this line and then I'm going to push shift hold down the shift key and draw a box around these lower lines select them and then over here I'm going to choose where it says relative to I'm going to change that to first item and since I selected this line first it's going to move all these lines in relative to this. I'm going to change the offset from 350 from 400 to 350. And I'm going to choose these two arrows pointing at each other and click. And now they're distributed evenly. I'm going to click on a blank area here. Click the fat line. Then come over here, hold down your shift key, draw a box around this skinny line. Now they're both selected. We still have first item selected, which is what we want. But we want to go up. So we need to put a minus sign in front of the 350. Put a minus sign and click the button with the two arrows pointing towards each other. And now all our lines are right where we want them for the rest of the project. So go up to File and click Save. Now, let's turn the head on. And the drop shadow and the background layer. And as you can see, all our lines are gone. Don't panic. Choose the background layer. Come over here and choose this down arrow. Just click it. And move it down. And just keep clicking the down arrow until you move it down behind all the all the lines. You want it to be below all the copies of your lines over here. And that's it. So now we got all our lines. All the layers are in the right order. And if you were to have one line over his face, just go through your layers and find that one and move it up or down and that'll fix the problem. And now's a good time to save it. Now we're going to put the numbers down the left side. We're going to need the, the align tool to do that. 
So we're going to shut the background layer off again. And the head and the drop shadow. Now come over here, choose the text tool, make sure it's on Arial, font size of 400, and come over approximately how far in you want it from the edge, and click, and type in your numbers. My first number is 20 inches. Come down here. Click 16, and right here, twelve. Now choose the align tool. Click on the fat line. Hold down the shift key. Click on the number and then do the center tool and click on the fat line again. Hold down the shift key, click on the number, and the two arrows pointing towards each other. And the last one, too. Click on the fat line. Hold down the shift key, click it, and align. Now, click on a blank area. I like where the number 12 is from this end, from this edge. So I'm going to choose the number 12. And then I'm going to click to shift and click on 16. And shift and click on 20. And I'm going to push the align left tool, well, from the left hand edge. And that is it. The numbers and the lines are done. I'm going to turn the background layer on. Scroll up, turn the head on, and the shadow. And I'm going to come over here, file. Save. That's it for lesson two. In the third and final part, I'll show you how to make the mugshot number plate that goes right here. I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, or subscribe. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Good luck. Bye. Thanks.